What is going on guys? Today we are looking at Ben Rama. He is the new headliner for today and he is coming in with an 83 and an 84 rated SBC. An 86 cam. Obviously a little bit harder to link unless you have somebody like Mahrez's special card. Obviously Algerian and he is a player for West Ham. To be fair, not looking the terrible, well the, the most terrible cam to be fair. Good pace. Uh, dribbling's up there. Pass, uh, passing's 84. It's not terrible. Shooting could definitely do with some work. So we're going to have a deep dive into him and see what he's all about. He is a 4 star, 4 star, 5 8 with the high medium. Right footed, untradeable. Obviously we've got flaring outside of the foot which is always fantastic and see if i can get footbin to load up him in general um to be fair it's like i say he's not looking terrible uh if we go to new players have we got him in here yet yeah, we do and we do have a 72 uh, headliner somewhere as well can't take getting into the team of the week being the top leader with foden as well very nice the only issue we've got with obviously ben rama is the fact that he does have a what was it? I was going to say a road to the knockout or something like that. Maybe a team at a tournament at the moment with the 85 Europa League one. Um, this obviously is an upgradable version. So if he does get an inform, a, a team at a tournament, another version of him, anything that is performance based other than obviously team of the season team of the year or obviously player of the month so he will go up and potentially if they win five domestic leagues in a row they do get an upgrade as well so they'll always be then two ahead of their inform so instead of an inform being an 87 he would be an 89 but obviously they need to win five in a row for that to be achieved other than that he will stay one ahead so if for instance he gets an 86 team of the week he would be an 87 so obviously being untradeable 1995 so a year younger than myself he's five for eight let's jump into him and see what it's all about. Let's whack a hunter on him. Just as a quick note as well with this review, these are the two packs you get back. Nothing too crazy, but obviously only giving up an 83 and an 84. Wasn't expecting too much. An Electrum and a Premium Gold. No actual guaranteed ratings. And unfortunately, they are the worst silvers I've ever seen. Only the Belgium League actually usable and the Premium Gold. You're very, very unlikely going to pack any from, from these. But you never know. You could get a couple of shadows. You could get a cam to centre mid. Maybe even a cheeky strike to centre mid or... Or centre forward. Unfortunately not. So let's jump into the team. So we have got a Hunter on him now. We've got him into the team. Obviously with the Hunter you get a lovely plus 10 on the pace. Which will take it up to 98. With 99 acceleration. 97 sprint speed. Mixed alongside a kind of smaller build. Um, I don't think we've actually got a body type yet. I know it is a high medium defence. And he is what 5'8". So I'm expecting more of a smaller slim build. You'd also then get 90 shooting. Turning him into a 90 centre forward. Or an 89 cam. So I've got a little bit of uh, high expectations for him for a relatively cheap card so without further ado let's jump into some gameplay so we have got him in that center cam role i'm very very interested to see how this card works out obviously he's linked up with some really good players in this team now um obviously he's going to be uh he's going to be the focal point really we're going to try and really get it to him as much as possible and obviously i want to see how his dribbling kind of copes he is a four star four star so i'm expecting to be able to kind of hit it on to his left as much as possible as well um, but obviously a five star would be more beneficial in that scenario so let's get him on the ball so far from that first dribble not the craziest amount of agility and again it is 95 so it'll be interesting we took our eye off the ball for a second there already going for another ch a chance here he is then finding it down the middle we're looking for that through ball it's a solid ball keepers come out but Messi's going to do enough to actually get it or maybe not. Davies doing a fake and unfortunately Messi takes it. Picks up the ball nicely. Again going for the through ball. Finds Vinicius this time. We've got him running back. We find him here. Going to go for that left foot to start with. Oh, the open of it. You'll find that a lot of people will always subconsciously kind of favor putting him onto his left rather than his right. So sometimes it is nice to kind of give it a hit. Four-star weak foot should definitely be able to, to give you something at a good percentage. Obviously not all the time and you would always prefer to favor their strong foot. But always the four to five, I think it's it's worth a chance rather than potentially messing up the shot. Unless you're going to play the possession game and really just kind of try and, and push it onto that side. Maybe even go backwards to, to get it onto that side and, and kind of work it that way. And Rama again pushing forward. We're going to find him potentially on the move here. He's going to pick that up over Alfonso. 
Little double on the inside, finesses and that and that's it. We couldn't have just got it onto his right foot and gone for the outside. We thought the left foot would have been good enough there. He had the position, maybe just a little bit too much pressure on him there. The problem I've got here with this formation is he's coming really far back and I feel like he's not necessarily a player that will carry the ball like an, an incredible amount, but he is somebody who would, would kind of benefit for the final touches kind of thing. Somebody who's not necessarily a cam that would, would go from bottom end of defense to all the way to attack, like a an attacking box to box. But in terms of kind of where I want him, I want him almost as that center forward role. I feel like that, looking at just how he's playing so far and how he's carrying the ball, that would be perfect. Like I'd like him sitting just almost on our nine's toes there really nearly going for the pass i was going for maradona on this side finding him here we're looking for the one two that i think is going to be almost his best friend he seems really good at kind of moving forward so that's going to be an absolute blessing with that obviously that one touch pass really spin double on the inside what can we find with him he's got somebody attacking a little spin again not not too much strength which we could have we could have kind of guessed really i think he's he's coming in nice but i i really think if you're looking to upgrade your team i feel like there is definitely better options out there people that i've definitely seen have more of an impact and for instance if you have done the likes of bernardo silva's spc way way back which is now a 90 you don't really need this card in terms of a main team he's kind of there as a nice kind of uh SBC card if anything he's going to be a collector's sort of item somebody who links up with Mares, links up with a tal obviously that's a an actual really nice link you can have other than that I don't think he's going to feature in a lot of people's teams personally again West Ham fans all of that great stuff then yeah then that's fair enough we had the same with Eduardo um, yesterday in terms of Crystal Palace fans you don't necessarily get a, a a huge amount of Palace, West Ham, SBC. So when one does come around, even if it is slightly more expensive than you'd want, you more than likely will do it just for the fact that you don't know if A, they're going to get a better card in the future, and, and B, why not? Sometimes it's nice to be able to do them SBCs and not necessarily worry that another one is coming tomorrow. So going into the overall for Ben Rama then, he's coming in at about 50k. To be honest, really not that bad. And you got to think a lot of that is the fact that you've got one in form at the very minimum. They're coming in at what? Anywhere between 10 to 14,000 coins. So that's going to give you the value. Then obviously the 83. Not really too much in it. 10, 11k on Fubbin, 40k, so really about 20 to 30k. Plenty of grinding that you can do. 81 doubles are there. Literally, you should be able to get this card done for very, very minimum price. So I think for that, I would say he's worth sticking in the club. Who knows? Could go on a massive month of getting two free informs by the end of the game. You're looking at an 89, 90 rated card. I've definitely seen weirder things happen. We saw it with... I think it was Alessandro Gomez, nearly out of the Champions League. Before you know it, two more rounds in. He was practically a dead SBC, and he managed to go two more rounds to get two more upgrades. Ben Rama could be the same. If he's not necessarily a card for now, he could be something you put in the bank for later. A 90-rated card into a 90-rated SBC. You never know. Other than that, I feel like, like I say, West Ham fans, anybody looking for that cheap kind of alternative team will really enjoy this card. Do I think he's going to be in people's main teams? Probably not. I feel like Bernardo Silva is a, a, a massive one right there. You've obviously got a Bruno. You've got a Kevin. They're all coming in at a little bit more expense. Bernardo, obviously, an SBC. But I think they are more worth putting the coins in there. Even if you went with just an informed Bernardo, I feel like he is better compared to, obviously, this card right now. Obviously, the, the big thing with uh, ben, ben Rama is that he can be upgraded. So that is where a little bit more value will come into him. Is that if he does have a good stint of a week, two weeks, a month, even if he goes for the rest of the season and has an absolute cracker, you are looking at a very nice upgraded card then. So it is taking a risk. I personally think for 50k especially untradeable fodder i think he is worth it do i think he'd make it into the main team and worth it in terms of putting him there definitely not we've got far too many good players out there to really have him replace anybody even if you went for just every league fakir we got almost right at the start is light years ahead he is a fantastic card so for this one for me sbc yes with untradeables for your actual team Probably not. Overall wise, I'm going to give him a solid 7.5 at the moment. We will come back to him if he does get upgraded. Make sure you do like and subscribe. I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.